What is up, YouTube.com? It is your boy, the Healers to Ballers, and I am back with another video today. And today, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the main event of WrestleMania 35. As we all know, the main event, the official main event, it was announced yesterday on WWE.com that the main event will be the women's triple threat, Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte Flair versus the man, Becky Lynch. Now, I am excited. It's the first time women will main event WrestleMania ever, and... For it to be on a big scale like WrestleMania, of course, it's it's a big deal. It is a big deal, and it should be treated as a big deal. The only thing that I have not liked about this is a little bit of the build-up. You know, you have Becky Lynch, you know, in the Stone Cold persona, in my opinion. It, it's disgusting, and it's cringe. You got Charlotte as the favorite, you know, Vince's favorite. And you got Ronda as the badass, I guess, rebellion. And she's saying wrestling's fake and storyline, blah, 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 screw the fans. She's a heel, she's trying to get heat. So, um... And the build-up, as I was saying, um, it really hasn't been that good, in my opinion. You know, it started as Charlotte and Ronda, you know, the night after the Royal Rumble. Uh, Becky coming out and confronting Ronda. Turned into uh, um, Becky becoming Stone Cold with the knee brace. Um, after that, Vince McMahon appointed Charlotte to replace Becky Lynch because he thought Becky Lynch, well, he um, says Becky Lynch isn't the man. He's the man, which is actually the freaking truth. <clears throat> Vince McMahon is the man of WWE. I don't care what Becky Lynch says at all. Um, and, um... Yeah, and then it led to Fast Lane, or excuse me, it led to Elimination Chamber and that match with Ronda Rousey and um <clears throat> excuse me, um Ruby Wright, blah 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 blah. Moving on. Um Charlotte came out, Becky came out and beat the living crap out of both of them with a crutch, which led to Fast Lane, and of course Becky Lynch won because Ronda Rousey interfered and helped Becky win by attacking Charlotte Flair. Um and overall, man, this this feud has been pretty good and it is deserving of the main event of WrestleMania. In my eyes, yes it is. Um, these women have worked, and I understand people are going to say, oh, but they're only in the main event spot because of Ronda. That's the freaking truth. We all know that. But, um, you cannot deny that all three women have worked hard. Becky, Charlotte, and Ronda, you know. This whole women's evolution thing evolved from, you know, in 2015 when Stephanie McMahon, you know, said there was a revolution of the women's division, which I thought was pretty cool, brought Sasha, excuse me, brought Sasha. Charlotte and Bailey, excuse me, Becky. Ba Bailey didn't come until later. Um, and yeah, the evolution was started, man. And um, yeah, the rest is pretty much history. Yeah, there've been a few bumps in the road and all that weird good stuff, but they have earned their spot in the main event of WrestleMania in my eyes. And there's really nothing that can stop them. This, in my opinion, outside the Kofi Kingston thing and everything else, it's been good. the Universal Championship match. I really don't give a crap about that feud. Has been just just stupid and disgusting in my opinion. It really hasn't had no entertaining build-up because, you know, Roman Reigns and his, sh the, uh, the shield, you know, the thing with Roman Reigns and, um, his leukemia, and he's in remission, which is freaking awesome, Congrat congratulations, Roman, and, um, that's awesome, um, the shield coming back, and it's really been the main focus, and then we have to get back on the picture of the Universal Championship, which, you know, came last night during Monday Night Raw, um, and the shield's final farewell, and um, they had to deal with that stuff, and yeah, we're back on the picture with the Universal Championship, but that, in my opinion, that really hasn't had that much buildup, and it's not their fault, but it's just WWE's stupid booking. Um, Kofi Kingston, WWE Championship, in my opinion, this is pretty much the same thing they did with Daniel Bryan. Um, it reminds me of Daniel Bryan back in 2014, except this time, people are now all of a sudden noticing Kofi Kingston. Now, all of a sudden, you are noticing Kofi Kingston. Um, 11 years ago, I don't know where you people were at, I know people have been echoing the same question Probably. Where were you people at in, two, in excuse me, in 2007 slash 2008 when Kofi Kingston made his debut? Blah, 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 blah. All that weird stuff. I know where I was. I was with Kofi Kingston. That's where I was. I know where you guys were. But if you were with Kofi Kingston back in 2007, freaking awesome, man. Um, but in my opinion, that really just, it just, I don't know. I mean, the storyline, he only got caught on because of the gauntlet match a few months ago that Mustafa Ali, of course, was supposed to be in, but he got... Um, concussion symptoms and all that good, all that stuff. Um, so he wasn't allowed to be in it. And I'm way off track of the women. But um, I just want to get out of the way, and Dan Brown will be defending the WWE title against Kofi at WrestleMania, hopefully, and that'll be the storyline leading into that. So back onto the women. Um, they are deserving of the spot. They are deserving of the spot. I don't care what anybody has said. They have busted their ass off. I know Ronda Rousey just came in, quote-unquote, you know, came in last year, excuse me, last year, and she has earned this spot. I, I know people's I know people don't like Ronda. I know people are saying, oh, she's just a part timer who hawks the spotlight and blah 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 all that stuff that I've been hearing all over the place. Um and Becky, you know, Becky's been kept in catering for years. 
And Becky's been looked down upon. And she has worked her ass off. She has worked her, her spot. She has worked to get to the spot at WrestleMania. She has worked to get to the spot to main event WrestleMania, folks. Charlotte, I understand people say, oh, Charlotte's been handed everything. Which might be true because of her last name, but it's also because of her work, her work in that ring. And she is a very good worker. Yes, I, I see people say that she's the overpushed golden girl of WWE, which is, to a degree, yes, she is. But, you know, he's got to admit, Charlotte's one of the best up there. And all three women are going to tear it down at WrestleMania. I'm telling you right, they're going to go out there and they're going to put on a fantastic show. They're going to, since the first time, they're going to go out there and they're going to show the, us why they deserve to be in the main event. They're going to go out there and show you people why they have earned this spot to main event WrestleMania. And people are probably going to nitpick and you know, get upset and probably quote-unquote leave. I don't know who would leave during that main event. I think it's going to be freaking fun. Um, and, um, and people are probably going to yell, I, I pray to God people do not hijack. Do not, do, if you freaking hijack the main event because you don't, you're not getting what you want and you're not getting you know, something that you want or whatever... That makes you a freaking hypocrite if you're hijacking the show, in my opinion. Yeah, it makes you come out as a hypocrite and just a douchebag, in my opinion. Um, if you want to hijack the show, go right ahead. You're all, you can never you want your wrestling fan or whatever. Everyone has their own rights, their own opinions. But I would just, if it was me, I'd just be sitting there and cheering and you know, just being in awe of the women doing their thing. You know, I think this is it, man. The women's evolution is coming around. This is full circle. This is what it was all leading up to was the main event. And maybe it was leading, wasn't leading up to the main event, but you know, who, know, who knows what it was leading up to. Could have led up to something else, you know. And Evolution, of course, happened last year. And um, that happened. That also had a um, help in the, um, the rise of the women, you know, getting what they want. First elimination, Chamber. Last women standing, or second last women standing with um, Sasha and Charlotte Flair. Hell in a Cell, you know, all that stuff. Royal Rumble, all that stuff has lead, led up to this moment of the women and this, and I'm proud of them. I'm proud of every single woman in that locker room, even if I don't like you. I'm proud of every single woman in that locker room because you guys are actually showing everyone why you deserve to be in the main event of WrestleMania. And who knows, maybe we'll get Sasha, Charlotte, Bailey, and Becky one time at WrestleMania 36 or whatever in the near future or whatever. I don't know, I guess, future WrestleMania for all we know. But all I'm saying is that the women, in my opinion, do deserve this spot. And um, I don't care who, if you, who disagrees with this video, you can thumb it down, whatever. They deserve the spot. They deserve the spot. This is their moment. And I don't see anything else closing WrestleMania. WWE title match, maybe. I doubt it. I'm, it's, no, I just don't see that. I just don't see that being a main event. If Kofi Kingston was going to win, yes. Seth Rollins and Brock Lesnar, I don't see that match being a main event for WrestleMania at all. I just don't see it at all. And those are the only two matches I just, I don't see anything else. Batista and Triple H, nah. You know, you got <sighs> something else. I mean, I think the women are the right choice. To close WrestleMania. This is not me being a favor, favoritism or me being a I'd ass kisser of WWE because I don't kiss the WWE's ass. No. I speak truth and I just speak my opinions out. Um, or I'll just say I speak my opinions out about the product. Um, but in my opinion, the women do deserve to main event WrestleMania. They do deserve the main event WrestleMania and I can't wait to see what they do, man. They're going to go out there, and they're going to put their bodies on the line, and they're going to show you why they deserve this spot. They're going to show you why they have earned this spot, and um, it's going to be great, man. And um, that's really all i got to say about this. I mean, I really am excited about them main eventing WrestleMania 35, and it should be fun. I hope my girl walks out the new Raw Women's Champion, and overall, I really am excited to see what they can do out there, and they're going to show you why they deserve to be in the main event. Um, anyways, that's really all I got. If I repeated myself too much, I really apologize, guys, but I just wanted to get all this out for you, and if I missed any points, you can comment down below or whatever, and that's really all I gotta say about the women man eventing WrestleMania. Um, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please too sweep that like button down below, and subscribe for more videos like this one. Follow your boy on Twitter, at Heel Balor, and Instagram, Heel Balor YT. And I will see you all next time. Next week is going to be a big week. It's WrestleMania week. And I got tons of content to come out next week. And lots of stuff is coming out next week. Birthday Mania is almost here, folks. Hashtag Birthday Mania. And I will see you all next time. Too sweet. Peace out.